Hello guys, welcome back to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. This here is Chaplain Andrew to teach you the unchangeable and unfailable Word of God. Listen for this theme song and you'll know. It's me, hello podcast land in the words of... Uh, what is his name again? In the words of Robin Williams, "Good morning, Vietnam." That was one of the great, one of the greatest movies I know. Is "Good Morning Vietnam." Don't get me wrong. Don't get me not long, but wrong. There is a lot of curse words in that, and a lot of dirty type jokes and stuff like that. But it's a great movie because it reminds me of me. He does an army. He does a radio broadcast for the army. And all the army barracks listen to him and all that. And people around the uh, the area listen to him. So it's a great show. Great movie, I should say. And it reminds me of me because of what you're listening to right now. Again, those of you who are listening right now, thank you so very much for tuning into this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever. And this is not just TGIF. This is Worship Saturdays. And let me say to you, Worship Saturdays is not just another episode. Worship Saturdays is not just another Saturday, which it is. Worship Saturdays is not just another TGIF episode, which it is. Worship Saturdays is not just a song, a playlist of songs, which it is. Worship Saturdays is a phenomenon, do, 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 phenomenon, do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Worship Saturdays is a phenomenon. With that being said, guys, how is everyone doing this week? I have to admit, I am sorry, but I had issues today. And I had lots of them. Well, not lots, lots, but enough to where I was 18 minutes late to the show today. I wasn't trying to be late, but for some reason, which was which wasn't good, my let me send a link to one of the YouTubers that I I listen to on YouTube. His name is Thomas Game Docs. If you so choose to want to listen to him, go ahead. He's a great he's he's got great content and all that good stuff. So let's just say he's good. I support his channel to a degree. I subscribe to him because he's got good good content. If you want to learn about video game history, Thomas Game Docs is the person to go to. Or my second favorite, the gaming historian. But his personal life is beyond what I I don't agree with his personal life, but I like his content and he has got some great content going on. With that being said, how is everyone doing today? Let me send my work a link onto the app to everyone on the uh, everyone page. Let's see what it says. I like that, Kayla. Thank you for sending a random emoji. But I'm going to send a random link. Let me send this. Here is a link to my show. Hope everyone enjoys it. And there we go. We got to do that. And voila. There we go. There's a link to my show. They can listen to it as well. I try to encourage my work every day of the week when I get the chance to. And I why not do it now with Worship Saturdays? It's a great time here. We all have fun and we listen to some music and we just enjoy ourselves. With that being said, how are you doing in podcast land? What's going on in your life and what's up with you? All three in one. So with that being said, hey, it's me. It's Chaplain Andrew. I'm here here to teach you the unchangeable word of God. But not only am I here to, to, to teach it to you, but I'm here to just encourage you each and every day. 
There's so much junk on the radio these days, I can't stand what they classify as music anymore. So I created Worship Saturday as part of the show so you guys have something good and encouraging to listen to. Don't get me wrong, one day I'll have a license to play any kind of music that I want to. But right as of now, I do not have that license. But I will be getting that license soon, and then we'll be able to play any song from anywhere. You guys will have a great variety of music, and you guys will love it even more. But, hey, thank you again for downloading Thursday's episode of Pastor Lance and Ernissa Travis's message because it was a great message you put out. I loved it. And guess what? You tuned in. I love you, too. Because if you didn't tune in, how would I have a show? What would I be doing right now if you guys did not tune in? I wouldn't be here doing this out of nothing. I wouldn't be sitting here talking on the microphone just because. I wouldn't be buying buying expensive equipment if all I had to do was just talk to nobody. It wouldn't thrill me to to talk to nobody. Because see, when when, when nobody tunes in, how am I supposed to have a show? It's like, I, I want to encourage people, but... In order for me to encourage people, people have to tune in. So I'm glad you guys do. I'm going to give you guys a round of applause for tuning in. Thank you guys that you caused them to tune in, not because of what they do, but because of what you do in them. So again, guys, I'm going to tweak my microphone just a minute while we're here. But we are live on the show. We are happy that you're here. And hey, it is what it is. We love you as a person. And we just want to encourage you guys each and every day that, hey, when we leave this show tonight and I go do my job at work and everything is what it is, guess what? I want to make sure that I did what I needed to do today to encourage you. Not that I'm perfect, because I'm not. I am far from perfect. So far from perfect, as Jake Hess once said, I as I am as far from perfect as you can plainly see, but after all these years, oh Lord, still you and me. I'm so far from perfect that right now, if this was the Old Testament, not the New Testament, because we're in the New now, but if this was the Old Testament, I would have died and went to hell a long time ago if this was the Old Testament. Because see, back in the Old Testament, God was a vengeance God. God did actually have mercy and grace on nobody back then. It was it was it was you're done. Like now. If Moses would have been alive now and struck the rock out of anger, he could have said, Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me for sinning in your presence, and that would be the end of it, as long as he meant it, which he would have. But, being that he was in the Old Testament, oh, no, he struck that rock out of anger. God said, you ain't going to make it to the promised land. Go figure that one. God was a vengeance God back then. He wasn't like he is now. Don't get me wrong, God still loved his people. But see, his people back then were under the law. Thankfully, this... The the New Testament, the law has been rent into two. What that basically means is when God died for our sins, God died for every bit of that law so that when we come back to God, we don't have to, you know, God's still going to judge us for every letter of the law. Did you steal? Did you kill? Did you commit murder? Did you this? Did you that? Did you did you lust over somebody? Did you this? Did you that? God's still going to, going to judge us by every letter of the law. But at the end of everything that he judges us for, when we finally get there, he says, you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this, and this. And once he does that, Jesus is going to say, wait a minute. Yes, my son did all of that. Yes, my son committed so much lust, sin, and murder, and whatever. Let me say something. Just because you haven't killed somebody doesn't mean you still think about things. There are people in this world... Who will never go and do it for real, but you get so mad at somebody, you just want to, mm, you know, how, you know who that is. You know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about me too. Don't get me wrong. I get to a point like that sometimes too. I'm not trying to sound like I'm somebody who's Mr. Absolute Drop Dead Perfect because I'm not. People out there get mad at somebody so much, they just want to, you know what. But with that being said, I love you guys. And this is why I'm here. I'm here to give you guys something encouraging to encourage you each and every day that when you get mad, don't. When someone makes you upset, don't. When someone causes you to get frustrated, don't. I know it sounds easier than it, than it is to do, but what you should do first before getting actually mad at somebody, because the Bible says sin, anger and sin not, is Lord, I'm mad. You need to do something before I go off. 
and watch what God does. Give it to God and watch what God does. Now, it sounds easier than it is done. I agree with that. It is so much easier to get mad at somebody and say, why I want to, you know, knock your face off or knock your block off or whatever the case is. Yes, yes, it's easier to get mad at somebody. But in the long run, what does getting mad at somebody actually do to you in the first place? How does getting mad at somebody every day do you any good? How does it edify you? How does it, how does it calm a situation? It doesn't. It just feels, feels you to think all kinds of negative thoughts about what you want to do to somebody, how you want to beat them up, or whatever the case is, or whatever is going on. Getting mad at somebody does not do you any good at all. It just causes you to want to, you know, get mad at somebody and stay mad at them. You know the Bible says that even a little unforgiveness in your heart will not cause you to go to heaven. Even just a little bit of a, I hate you, or a little bit of a, well, I can't forgive you, but I let you, but uh, I can't forgive you, but, uh, but uh, I, I, yeah, you see what I'm saying? You got to forgive people. See, here's the thing though. You got to forgive people and you got to love people. You got to love and forgive people no matter what. I don't care. Like the Bible says, it says to what? Bless them and pray for them who despitefully wrong use you, persecute you, despitefully wrong use you. What does that mean? People who purposely slander your name, people who purposely do evil things against you, towards you, or talk about you, or any of that, or any number of things. It says to what? Pray for them that persecute you and despitefully wrong use you. What do you think Jesus did when he died on the cross? He prayed for them on the cross as they were, what? uh, Persecuting him and despitefully wrong using him. Jesus is being nailed on the cross And all he can think of is, Lord, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. He's praying. The first thing he, the first thing I'm thinking is, God, what you doing here? Why am I dangling here on a cross? What's going on? That's my human mind. But see, Jesus was human and spirit. That's why he was dangling on a cross. He prayed for people because he he knows that they didn't know what they were doing. He said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Those. Pharisees did not know who Jesus was. In fact, they didn't want to know who he was because they thought he was blasphemous. He wasn't. And it's it's not exactly, I would say, their fault to, to a point. Because, think about it, the Bible says that anybody who's claiming to be God, you know, have nothing to do with them, basically. Because you can't be God. Just like Satan got cast of hell for trying to be God, you can't be God. So they were... Don't get me wrong, they had, uh, they, they thought they had it right, which they didn't, but in their own mindset, they're thinking, okay, he's trying to be God, he's, he's doing miracles, he's doing this, he's trying to be God, we can't let this happen, the Bible says not to. So, they're going based on what the Word said, I would gander, but still it was wrong because he was Jesus, the Son of God, and if they read their Word even more, they would have realized that, that Jesus was coming back to earth to save his people. There would be, the old prophecy said there would be a Messiah who would come back to save his people. And that's what Mary and Joseph had had heard from the angel. He says, look, he'll be a great man. He'll come to save his people. What does that mean? That means he's not blasphemous. It just means that Jesus is being created by God through the Holy Spirit, to impregnate Mary, to have the Son of God to come to save his people. Who better to save his people than Jesus himself? Think about that for a Who better to save his people than Jesus himself? So, with that being said, let's do it this We love you. We thank you guys for tuning in. And let's give the Lord a clap offering on that note for sending Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you've sent Jesus in this world to save his people. Not just to save us, but all of his people. Because there are people out there, Lord, who need Jesus each and every day. That's why I do Outside the Classroom Wednesdays and Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays. Because we need Jesus each and every day. Jesus needs to be the center of our joy. Because if he's not, he needs to. Because if he's not, then your days are just not going to be so good. 
think about it. Jesus is the center of our joy. He needs to be the center of our every single day. If he's not, then he needs to be because it's the most important thing in this entire world is Jesus. Jesus is the most important thing in this world because at the end of everything, when you finally go to be with God, the only thing that will matter at that moment is the fact that Jesus died on that cross. And if you go up to heaven with anything in your heart, even some unforgiveness, even a tiny bit of unforgiveness, Jesus is going to be standing there with a muzzle on his mouth. He, he wants to say it, but he won't be able to because you you did not make him your everything. He is my everything. He is my all. He is my everything. Both great and small. So he's got to be your everything because then if he's your everything, then Jesus can go up to the Father and say, wait a minute, I know he sinned or she sinned, but guess what? I died for that. I died for that. Come on. You got to give it to me, Father. I died for that. I shed my blood for that soul right there. So you need him to be your everything because if you're if he's not your everything, then he won't be able to say that for you. And that's the main thing. That's why I encourage you guys each and every week to get to know who Jesus is. Because once you know who Jesus is, life will be a whole lot better for you. There will be a whole lot. Your life will be so much better than it is now. Think about it. How many, how many people out there are going through struggles and trials and tribulations? Give it to Jesus. You know the Bible says at the name of Jesus, demons tremble and Satan flees. It's at the name of Jesus. It's not what you try to do, how you try to go to a therapist, how you try to this. Don't get me wrong. Therapists are great. You should go see a therapist if you need to. It's a great person to talk to. But it's not about what you're doing, who you're going to see, and you know this and that. It's all about Jesus. If you just say, Jesus, it's done. You don't even need to do anything. You want to perk up the ears of the Father? Just say, Jesus, when you're going through something. Just say, Jesus, to everything, and it's done. Look, I believe in this. I believe this to a T. And no, I'm not perfect. And yes, I sin every day of the week. The Bible says it all falls short of the glory of God. But through Christ Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, we're all saved. So yes, I may sin every day. Do, does it mean that I knowingly sin every day? Absolutely not. But do I unknowingly sin as well? Of course I do. Why? Because the subconscious is one of the most evil things of the of the human body is that mind that mind harbors so much junk in there because guess what your mind remembers every single thing that you've done in your life everything your memory remembers it now does that mean you can recall each and every bit of it absolutely not why because there's parts of your memory that are what's called the subconscious and the subconscious part is where it remembers but you physically don't so it's just like I might be a piano player and, you know, down the years I probably wrote a song that I never realized that I wrote. My subconscious remembers it, but my memory does not, which is, is okay. But your subconscious remembers everything. It remembers your faults. It remembers your failures. It remembers your good times, your bad times. It remembers every little thing that you thought and did in your entire life. And Jesus and God will recall each and every thought that you had in your subconscious and bring it all back. I say, okay, your mind says this, this, and this that you've done. I, I see it in there. And then you're going to have to account to it. Now, if you know who Jesus is, you will still have to account to it. But guess what? It will be wiped away clean because Jesus was like, I died for that. Well, what about, nope, I died for that too. And what about, well, I died for that too. And what about the unforgiveness he had in his heart? Well, I died for that too. Because why? You took care of the problem. Here's the easiest way to take care of any issue that you have. Lord, I am sorry I've sinned in your presence. Forgive me, cleanse my heart, and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it. If you just do that, then you're wonderful. Then Jesus has taken away all that from you. Now, the next step, though, it's, it's not that you're absolute wonderful right then and there. You're done. You're over. It's finished. No. Now what you got to do is you got to continue to not do that. You got to do that 180 degree turn from your sins. Now, here's here's an example of that. Okay, here's what 180 degree turn is. Okay, you're walking to your car, right? 
say you turn around, say you're walking out your door to your car. When you get to your car, you turn around, face the door, and walk back. That's a 180 degree turn. That's the same thing you need to do to your sins. If you're walking towards sin and you see that, stop, turn completely around, and then walk back towards God. 180 degree turn. That's all you got to do. Once you do that and keep doing that and keep going that direction, then you're good. Now, you're going to have stumbling blocks. It ain't going to be easy. Trust me. This walk with God is not easy. Let me tell you how hard this is. Every day the devil's going to come and attempt you and attack you. We've been going through so much of an attack this week from the devil. It's pathetic. But he's going to try to attack you each and every day. That's when you need to, in Jesus' name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. As Bill Gaither said, Jesus, there's something about that name. Master, Savior, something about that name. Kings and kingdom shall all pass away, but there's something something about that name. And the scripture says, if you, if you proclaim the name of Jesus, Satan trembles and demons, no, Satan flees and demons tremble. He doesn't just tremble, he flees. Demons might tremble, but Satan flees. So with that being said, we love you guys. We want to... Uh, wish you guys a very happy Worship Saturdays, and we hope you guys enjoy what's going on today on Worship Saturdays. And let's get into a few but brief announcements, starting with number one, go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D, 222 at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. And guess what you can do right there? You can send me all of your prayer requests. Or if you want me to shout to you on the podcast, send me your first name, your city, and your state. And I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Also, be aware, guys, you can call us at 1-302-448-8443. Again, that's 1-302-448-TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Also, be aware, we're going to be doing this each and every week outside the classroom Wednesdays, where we think outside the classroom to those who need the gospel each and every day. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take Pastor John's messages from Sunday morning Bible study, post those to the show so you guys can enjoy them, and as also so we can take his messages to outside of the classroom to those who need the gospel each and every day. Also, be aware we're going to be doing this each and every week now as well, Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays, where we take Pastor Lance and Ernissa Travis's messages, and we post those to the show as well, so you can enjoy their messages as well, and so we can take and get their messages outside of the classroom as well to those who need the gospel each and every day. Also, be aware, guys, we're going to be starting this real soon, the Rumble, where we'll be shaking the heavens rattling the earth and rumbling against the principalities of darkness and evil. The Bible says that we don't fight or rumble against what? Flesh and blood, but our principalities of darkness and evil. We're going to take one day out of the week, and we're going to fight, 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 pray, 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 rumble, 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 preferably at midnight. Now, why do I say preferably at midnight? Because darkness loves darkness. Let me say that to you again. Darkness loves darkness. When you look at your hand in a dark room, can you see your hand in front of your face? Of course not. Why? Because darkness loves darkness. Darkness collects. And when you turn on a light, some of the darkness is dispelled. Finally, when all the lights are turned on, all darkness is dispelled. The same thing with Jesus. When you display God's light or Jesus' light, darkness is dispelled. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus, not at the poof, ta-da, here I am, at the name of Jesus, Demons tremble and Satan flees. Let me say that to you again. It says in his word, at the name of Jesus, not the poof, ta-da, here I am, at the name of Jesus, Satan flees and demons tremble. So all you got to do when anything comes up after you and it comes to tempt you, you say, Jesus, and it's done. So what are we going to do on the rumble? We're going to take one day out of the week and we're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for the listener and we're going to pray for the government and we're going to pray for the president. Whatever pops up, we are going to pray. For let's pray for this man in the White House. Lord, we humbly come before you, Lord. We ask you to be with this man in the White House. We ask you to be with him on his every day, that when he does what he does, he does it for your glory, for what you want to happen in this in this world, not what he wants to happen. I ask you to be with him in health and to be with him in finance. And Lord, I ask you to direct and guide him in everything that he does. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Amen and amen. That is the rumble. Also, guys, be aware, we're going to be doing this each and every week. Worship Saturdays, we'll be doing nothing but worshiping God. Just praise, prayer, and worship. Grab your favorite drink and just relax your lounge chair and enjoy the fabulous music we here have on the show. All we're going to do is just praise, prayer, and worship. That is Worship Saturdays. Also, guys, be aware that you can download Podcast Portal, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L, available on the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, and the Aptoid Market. And what can you do on that app? Well, first off, you can listen to this very show. Second, you can make f- comments with a free Spreaker.com account. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. Again, it's you can make comments with a free Spreaker.com account. That's, again, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. Also, you can connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. Yes, email. Let me send you, let me to give you a personal TGIF life hack. So here's the scenario. You want to send an email to TGIF, but you don't want to go spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. See how much of a breath it takes to get it out of there? Well, here's what you do. Download Podcast Portal. Again, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L. Available on the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, and the Aptoid Market. And then you go into Podcast Portal and go to the right-hand corner of any page, bottom right-hand corner of any page, and click on the little envelope picture. It looks like an envelope. It's the email button. Click on there. Then click on your email client. Then type in your email and hit send. It's that easy. But it seems hard at first, but then when you go back, hit the always button, though, because when you go back to it again, guess what? As soon as you click the email button, that quick. It's that easy. It sends you straight to the email. You type in your email. You hit send. So it's that easy. It's click the email button. Type in your email. Hit send. You're done. But you got to click that always button. Also, what you can do on Podcast Portal is you can listen to the play buttons. 95.5 The Fish from Cleveland, Ohio. KJIC out of Texas. My former church, Evangel Christian Churches. And my new church that I attend here in Ravenna, Ohio, Portage Community Chapel. So with Evangel, you just click on their Evangel button. It takes you to their YouTube page. And with Portage Community Chapel, now you click on their uh, Portage their button, and you just it takes you right to their Vimo page. So you can listen and see their videos as well. But you can also move around the screen. And if you're chatting with people on the app, you can do that as well. Also, be aware, my favorite part of the app is the portal chat feature where you can communicate with not just me or the co-host, but everyone who, who owns that app. Everyone in the world who owns that app, if 500 people own that app, you can communicate around the world, 500 different people. And that's my favorite part of the app. You can also send pictures. You can also send a picture straight from your phone. But here's what you got to do. You take the picture with your camera. You save it to your phone. You go into Portal Chat. You then click the camera on the bottom. You select the picture you want to put into the portal chat, and then you hit send. It's that easy. You can't take a selfie with it, but you can take a picture beforehand and then post that picture into the portal chat feature. Now, we want to get to know who you are a little bit. We want to know a little bit about your day. So show us a little bit about yourself. If you're in France, you want to show us the Eiffel Tower, take a picture of the Eiffel Tower and show us. We'd like to know who you are. Now, we don't want to know every single minute of what you do. There are some people out there. Who, who will post, I had 25 peas, I chewed them 25 times, I walked 25 feet to the couch, and I sat on the couch. <laughs> That's not what we're trying to do here. We still want to get to know who you are. It goes like this. If I, own, if, I, if I pastor a church, but I know nobody in that church, can I pray for them? Absolutely not. Why? Because I don't know who they are. I don't know how to pray for them, who to pray for, or what. So let us know who you are a little bit. Let us get to know you a little bit so we can get to know who you are, what you need prayer for, and what is going on in your life. Because that is the most beautiful thing we can do is to get to know each and every one of our listeners. Also, what you can do is that portal chat feature. Like I said, it's beautiful, it's awesome, and you're going to enjoy it. I know you will. That is Podcast Portal. Also, guys, one last announcement Tell your Alexa devices, say, Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she'll say, welcome to 
or welcome back to Podcast Portal, where you where you can listen to this very show straight from your Alexa devices as well. We also got that skill for your video Alexa devices as well. Again, ask Alexa to open Podcast Portal, and she'll say welcome to, or welcome back to Podcast Portal. And that does, guys, conclude our announcements. Okay, guys, that does conclude our announcements for today. Again, download that app. It is phenomenal. It's called Podcast Portal, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L. And also ask your Alexa devices to open Podcast Portal. And she'll say welcome to, or welcome back to Podcast Portal. And you can listen to the show very sh- this very show straight from your Alexa and your video Alexa devices. Let's do it this way, guys. Let's get into our first song of the night. And our first song on the playlist is none, none Other Than Born Again by None Other Than Dudley Smith. Enjoy Born Again. You 
been, that I've been, that I've been blind. I'm saved. I'm saved. That, once again, guys, was Born Again by none other than Deadly Smith, one of my absolute favorite songs by him. And again, you got to be born again. You can't say you love God but don't have a relationship. It's just you can't say you love God and don't have a relationship with him. Or you can't say uh, you can't say that you, you love God but you're not born again. That's, that's the point I'm trying to get. You can't say you love God but you're not born again. Those two things must happen. Because as the Bible says, when the jailer asked, when the j- the guard in the jail asked the disciples, he says, what must I do to be born again? And Peter, Peter and uh, I forgot the other disciple, I think it was Paul, said, well, you got to be born again. He goes, must I climb back in my mom's womb and then be born all over again? He goes, no, you got to be born of water and spirit. But what I'm trying to get to is, is you can't, he says, he says, you must be born again. Same thing as what I'm trying to say. You got to be born again. You can't say you love God, but you're not born again. That's the main thing, is to be born again from all of your unrighteousness. There's a lot of people out there who says they love God. And they say they love them with their whole heart, but it's not born again. Or does not, or has not been water baptized. Or has not been, you know saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, it doesn't mean you have to speak in tongues. That's one thing I do not agree with. A lot of Pentecostal preachers out there say, well, you have to speak in tongues to be a Christian. No, you don't. You do not have to speak one ounce of a tongue to be a Christian. You can be born again, saved, saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, but you do not have to speak in a single tongue. You do not. But if you do, that's even better. But you do not have to. With that being said, you have to be born again for... You have to be born again to have a relationship with God. You can't say you love God and are not and is not born again. With that being said, let's get into our next song, which is none other than Open the Eyes of My Heart by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy Open the Eyes of My Heart.
That again, guys, was Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord, by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Let's get into our next song of the show, and it is entitled, It Is Time, by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Enjoy, it is time. One quick thing I want to mention, guys, is we're going to do, like we normally do, right now we're going to do 12 songs. If, by time-wise, I decide to do less than 12, I'll let you guys know about it. For right now, I'm going to do 12 songs. So let's get into It Is Time, but none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Enjoy It Is Time. and praise we sing hallelujah we go everywhere we tell everyone we sing hallelujah he is real he's alive he is worthy to be praised we sing glory hallelujah he is worthy to be praised it's time to lift 
heaven. We'll give him praise. We'll give him praise with love and passion. We'll give him praise. Our God, he is awesome. We'll give him praise. We'll give him praise with love and passion. We'll give him praise. There you go, guys. That was, again, the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band with their song, It Is Time. Let's get into our next song, and we're good to go so far. Let's do I Give You Jesus by none other than Pastor, Prophet, Larry O'Rell. Again, that's I Give You Jesus by none other than Dr. Prophet, Pastor, Larry O'Rell. Enjoy, I Give You Jesus. If the ship of your life is tossing on a sea of strife, you need someone. If you feel so all alone, your house is not a home, you need someone. If you feel that life isn't fair And there's no one left to share All those lonely days and nights When things just don't turn out right And you need someone to care Just someone to be there You need someone all around keep your spirits to the ground you need someone if your body is in pain your health you can't regain you need someone If sometimes when you have tried With all the strength you had inside And it seemed that you had failed Remember on the cross Christ nailed 
all that bitterness and grief to give you peace, sweet release. He is that someone that you need. I give you Jesus. He's the peace that passes all understanding. That once again, guys, was I Give You Jesus by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. Let's get into another Dudley Smith song, Simply Until I Will Bless the Lord by none other than Dudley Smith. Enjoy, I'll bless the Lord. In Psalms chapter 34, verses 1 through 3 and verse 8 is one of the most quoted scriptures in the Bible. It is used often at the beginning of church services all over the world. So I think it's appropriate that we do the same as we start our musical program. Let's bless the Lord continually at all times. Let his praise be in our mouth.
That, once again, guys, was Dudley Smith with his song, Oh, Bless the Lord. Let's get into our next song, which is from Dr. Tom, and it is entitled Good, Good God. Enjoy Good, Good God by none other than Dr. Tom. No, that's God is good. My fault. Not Good, Good God. That'd make a great song, though. Excuse me. But Enjoy God is Good by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy God is Good. is God and we will not be defeated no matter what happens in our lives no matter what turmoil comes our way he is the way the truth and the life amen come on and worship with us
possible for you, God. And how many know that there's no other God like God Jehovah, amen? Hallelujah. No other God like you. Again, I am so sorry. That was not God is good. That was not, uh, that was God is God. I kept thinking it was God is good. It's God is God by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. And let's get into our next song, which is One Voice. And let me tell you something. You know why I know God is good or God is God? Because the Bible says so. The Bible says that God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are one. So therefore, God is God. And let me say, he will never be defeated. No matter what you go through, God will never be defeated. He'll win the battles for you. Just like with Jehoshaphat. When Jehoshaphat went to war, what happened? God said, send your praises out first. And I will fight the battles for you. Not only did he fight the battles for him, he had the enemy so confused, they murdered themselves. Think about that one. So when you're going through anything, Bring God into that situation because God will fight the battles for you. Just send your praises out first and God will fight the battles for you. Let's get into One Voice by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Enjoy One Voice. One Voice, One Cross.
That, once again, guys, was One Voice by the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. How about we do this? Let's get into our next song. And it's simply entitled, It's You by None Other Than Dr. Prophet Larry Orell. Enjoy, It's You. Sunshine, same old sky, same old bluebirds flying by, but it seems like the sunshine's more beautiful today. It's not the change in the weather. But the fact that we're together It's you That brings light into my life It's you That makes my future bright Whether it's morning, noon or night Same old, same old, same old town Same old people just walking around But I'm seeing the world in a different light tonight Not the stars nor the moon can't be anything but you That brings light into my life It's you That makes my future bright Whether it's morning, noon or night Lord, it's you There may be cloudy days And those rainy nights Without a single star in the sky But if the sun and the moon Should both refuse to shine I don't mind It's you That brings light into my life That makes my future bright Whether it's morning, noon or night Lord, it's you
That, once again, guys, was It's You by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. Let's get into our next song, which is simply entitled Clean, Clean Heart by none other than Dudley Smith. Enjoy Clean, Clean Heart. That, once again, guys, was Clean, Clean Heart by none other than Evangelist, Pastor Evangelist Dudley Smith. Let's do it this way. Let's do three more songs. We'll do two. We'll pray, and then we'll do our last song, and then we'll end it that way. How's that sound for you all? I love doing it that way. I like praying before the last song. That way we can end the last of the show on a rocking note. And we can rock it out. So let's do that. Let's do one more song. 
two more songs, Pray, and then we'll do the last one after this. So we got three songs left. Let's do this one by none other than Dr. Tom Ray, simply entitled Unto You by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy Unto You. So be 
God, that you would visit us in this place. We pray that you would magnify your name, God, for you're worthy of this praise and this glory. That, once again, guys, was Unto You by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Let's do another song, then we'll pray, and then we'll get and end the show that way. Let's do He Heals by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Enjoy He Heals. <laughs> That, once again, guys, was He Heals by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Let's pray, shall we? Lord, 
We humbly come back before you again. We thank you, Lord, for the time we got to spend together here, Lord. The time we got to spend together in doing nothing but worship you. We didn't have to think about nothing. We didn't have to look up scriptures, Lord. We didn't have to listen to a single word. All we had to do was just sit here, relax, and listen and enjoy worshiping you. We thank you, Lord, that you are God and God alone, that you are continuing to have your way in this ministry, have your way in this area of our day. And Lord, be with us when we depart separate ways tonight, Lord. And we go to do what we normally do, like I go to work and the listeners go back to their regular days, Lord. Be with us as we depart, that when we depart, Lord, we will also keep you in our hearts. And it's not just a TJF thing, Lord. It's an everyday walk with you thing, Lord, to where we keep you in our hearts every day of the week. I ask you to bless tomorrow, Lord, when I go to record the show for Outside of Classroom Wednesdays. And I ask you, Lord, to be with the listeners as they go on their day tomorrow as well, Lord. Also, Lord, I thank you that you're blessing everyone at the sound of my voice that not be what selfish, not one of those I have to have just because. Whether you need it for something or they need it for whatever, Lord, give them their heart's desires as long as it not be what selfish. And Lord, heal everyone that's listening right now that will listen later on from diseases like cancer, diabetes like I have, muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis, heal my mom's arm that's not frozen no more, heal my sister's heart that's no longer, her heart and diabetes that they're no longer bad. And Lord... Heal people from diseases they contracted themselves through sin. Yes, HIV, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes, why? When you heal them, show your mercy, your power, and your grace. I'm reminded of a scripture, Lord. It says, you came through the door. It doesn't say you opened the door, Lord. It says you passed right straight through the door because you were all spirit at that moment. You said, Thomas, look at my hands. Thrust your finger to my side and see that I'm God. And what did Thomas do? He got on his knees and said, truly, you are the son of God. What did you say? Blessed are those who have seen and believed. But it doesn't stop there. So blessed are those who have not seen yet but still believe. So show them now, Lord. So when they come back needing absolutely anything, they won't have to say I have to see it to believe because they have already seen it. If you did it again, then you'll do it again because your word says you're the same God yesterday. No, it says you're the same God yesterday and today. No, it says you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. That's what people don't understand, Lord. You are the same God yesterday, today, and you'll be the same God forever. So if you healed yesterday or back in the Old Testament, you'll heal again. If you'll heal again today, then you'll heal forever. There's no, there's nothing in God's word that says that God changes. It actually says, God, I, Lord God, changeth not. And if God never changes, then tell me why people think there's no such thing as healing and no such thing as blessings. If God never changes. If God never changes, then why would there be none of that happening in this day and age? There's going to be. The Bible also says, Lord, it says that it says that we'll do more wondrous works than Jesus did. Not in quantity, but quality. We're the hands and the feet of Jesus down here. We are to do what Jesus did and more down here for God. So with that being said, Lord, there is blessings. You're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. So show them now, Lord, when they come back needing absolutely anything, they will not have to say, I have to see it to believe it. We thank you, we praise you, and we honor you. It's all in the matchless name of Christ that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. With that being said, guys, let's get into our last song of the show, which is entitled... Shower the people by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. Enjoy Shower the People. You can play the game and act out the part Though you know it wasn't written for you Tell me how can you stand there with your broken heart Ashamed at playing the fool One thing can Another, it doesn't take any sacrifice. Father and mother, sister and brother, if it feels nice, then you don't think twice. Shower the people you love with love, show them the way that you feel. Things are gonna
foolish pride when you're all by yourself alone. Once you tell somebody the way that you feel, you can feel it beginning to ease. I think it's true what they say about me. Yeah, once again, guys, sorry about that little piece coming in. Like I always say, CDs are not always perfect when they chop the pieces off and divide the songs up into separate songs. Because normally when you do a recording for a CD, it's all one long, big spiel. And then they cut each and individual sections off. They don't play a song and then, you know, stop for a minute and then go into another song. They They play a whole string through of music, and then they cut it in sections. So when that happens, sometimes you can't get certain pieces of songs exactly 100% perfect. With that being said, that was Shout Out the People with Love by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. Again, that was Shout Out the People. Let me say this. Shout Out the People you love with love, but Shout Out the People you don't love so much with love, too. Why? Because it shows them love. It shows them the love of God. Because if you show other people you don't love with love, guess what happens? They start getting the notion that, wait a minute, why is he doing this? I'm treating him like crap and I'm making fun of him, but he's loving me. Now, it doesn't mean that they'll come to Christ. And it doesn't mean that they'll become Christians. And it doesn't mean absolute anything. But it's just the way you do things. It's what God would want you to do. Because why? It'll have an impact. Whether or not they come to Christ is not the question. I mean, they need to come to Christ absolutely all the time. But the question or the the fact is that if you show them love, it'll at least make their day and it'll make them, it'll make their day a little bit better. No matter how much wrong they do to you or other people or what's going on in their lives, doesn't mean they'll come to Christ, but at least make their day a little bit more livable because why? You did what Jesus did asked you to do you are the hands and the feet of jesus christ you are the ones out we are the ones out here doing what we need to do while jesus is on the throne waiting for the father to come back we're the ones down here on earth doing the work of god through god through the holy spirit and through jesus jesus invokes us with the holy spirit and the holy spirit guides us to all truth and tells us what we need to do and what we need to continue doing so with that being said, show the people you love with love, show them the way that you feel. But also show the people you don't love with love, because if you show them the way you feel about them now, think about this, they will not like you even more. <laughs> you don't want to show the people that you do not like so much about how you feel about them now, because it's not truth. Truth states that you love them no matter what. So shower the people you love with love, but also shower those you do not love so well with love. See, you have to love them, and you have to forgive them. 
but you do not have to like them. God likes you. If God had a refrigerator, he'd have your picture on there. (laughs) But see, you have to love them, you have to respect them, and you have to honor them. But you do not have to like them. You have to love and forgive them, but you do not have to like them. Like and love are two different things. Love is something we do on the most part with other people because we have to. We have to love somebody. But see, we also have to love God. And we have to like God too in order to be a Christian. But see, you don't have to like somebody to love them. Just just like you don't have to like lo- you have you don't have to like somebody to love them, but you have to love somebody to like them. You can't not love somebody and still like them at the same time. It doesn't work that way. You just say Susie Smith is your best friend. You you'd be like I I like I don't like you, but I love you. That's fine. Or you but you can't say I love you, but I don't like you. It don't work that way. So you have to love somebody to like them. But you don't have to like somebody to love them. So show, shower the people you love with love and show them the way that you feel. But shower the people you don't love so well with love. So that way you can show them the way God feels about them and how God loves them. And when you do that, it makes their day so much better. Now, let's get into a couple things I want to remind you of. Download that app. It is absolute phenomenal. You can do all that marvelous, wonderful, wonderful things on the app. And also, ask your Alexa device to say, Alexa, open Podcast Portal. And she'll say, welcome to or welcome back to Podcast Portal, where you can listen to this very show on your Alexa devices and your Alexa video devices as well. Also, one more thing I want to mention, guys, before we hang up this episode is to this. Go ahead, if you're on the YouTube channel and you like what's going on, Hit that that subscribe button and then notification (laughs) bell so you can ring-a-ling-a-ling and not miss a thing. Again, if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. It'll do wonderful things for us and hit that notification (laughs) bell so you can ring-a-ling-a-ling and not miss a thing. And we we do got merch too as well for the show. We got some podcast material, the merch you can buy from our. There's two stores we got going on. We got a Teespring store, and we got a uh, not a Pinterest. We don't got nothing like that, but we got an Etsy store. That's right. We got a Teespring store and an Etsy store. Let me know in the comments below if you want to help support the podcast by you know getting some merch from TGIF. Or if you want to, uh, whatever you want to do, or you just want to rock out some you know, good merch from TGIF here, everything's inspired by God, nothing is not inspired by God. I got a couple pieces myself that I got that I wear. I got my, uh, what is it, my Recharge with Christ. And I've also got my uh, sweater Recharge with Christ. I got my mask Recharge with Christ. And we got Pray, Seek, Worship with the sweater and the mask as well. So with that being said, we love you guys, and we want to see you back again next week. I will be recording tomorrow's episode, tomorrow at Bible Study for Outside the Classroom Wednesdays, and uh, we'll see you, we'll see you bright and bright and early, six o'clock p.m. Monday, and we hope we hope that you all make it for next week's episode because we know that time is short. Time is short, and we know that we're not all going to be here one day. So just because you listened to me today and got something out of it doesn't mean you're going to listen to me next week. Because God forbid it's happening to anybody, but you, me, my wife, and the rest of this world can and will one day be with God. Excuse me. So one day you'll be with God and you won't be here. So I hope you see you all next week. God willing that we see each other next week as well. And this is... TGIF reminding you to, one, trust in the Lord in all your ways, two, lean not to your own understandings, and three, in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. Thank you, and good night.